Hey guys, Nuka here. Now in this video I'm going to show you my little review and operational use of the Sterno cooking stove along with the cooking fuel that you can purchase separately. I'm just going to go ahead and just put this together and then I'm actually going to light the fuel and we're going to see how long it takes to boil four cups of water. So first, I'll go ahead and put the stove together. Uh, pretty simple design, guys. It's kind of like cheap. I guess you could say aluminum, but it's a little bit sturdier than that. As you can tell. Still simple design, it gets the job done, and as you can see, there's a crate there that kind of helps hold it together. So you can set your pots or whatever you need on top of it without having to create your own pot sticker. Pretty easy, you just take the two little metal bars, and you clamp them into the sides. And it should look something about like that. So setup is pretty quick. Uh, the only thing I want to tell you about this thing is that it's not exactly always sturdy. You can see it kind of has the old rocking table effect, so you might have to put like a couple of woodings or something to kind of help alleviate that elevation distortion. So that's how you put the stove together. It's kind of simple. Uh, it is pretty sturdy. It will hold this pot. It does have four cups of water in it. So it's not bad for that. Now, the actual cooking fuel itself, you can buy the packs of these right here out of Walmart for $5. And the cooking stove itself, I bought at Walmart for $5. So all together, this is about 10, 11 bucks with taxes or so. And I'm able to cook. And as you can see, it tells you up front that this lasts up to four and a half hours. What that pretty much means is that one separate can it's going to be about two and a half hours, or two and a quarter hours, excuse me. So one can is about two and a quarter hours, two cans, four and a half hours. And this will run you about five bucks. Here's the can already unpacked. Just leave it there for a second so you guys can see it. And as you can tell in the upper right corner there, two and a quarter hours. At least that's what it says. So we're going to go ahead and just pop this top off here. You're going to get started with this. Now all you really need is just a flathead screwdriver. And then you can just start pretty much popping off the top on it. Just like anything else. You just work your way around the edges. And it pops off like so. And inside we can see the cooking gel that we're going to ignite in order to get this fire started. So whenever you do this, it's very important to make sure it's very important to make sure that it uses the well ventilated area. I'm in a garage right now. This is pretty well ventilated for me. And uh, when stuff hits the fan, you don't. I wouldn't recommend really cooking stuff outside because if your neighbors start seeing you cooking stuff outside, they're gonna know you got food. They're gonna come bother you. And if you don't give it to them nicely, they may start to escalate things. So I always try to keep things as secretive as possible when possible. Now, in order to start the flame, obviously you need something to ignite it with. So I have here in my hands a trusty, not dusty, Zippo lighter. You gotta love the Zippo lighters. If you haven't seen my review on Zippo lighters, I'll post that in the description so you guys can check that out. Make sure you have fire in your prep. But I recommend Zippo. Now, in order to light this, all you need to do is take your cooking fuel in your fire source, and you just light it. Just like that. Be very careful when you do that. Also, I want to show to your attention real quick that there you can see the stanchions where you're supposed to place the cook the fuel source at. It just sits in like so. And if you want fresh protection, you can lift this up, keep it sealed, and then just set your pot on top. 
Now I'm pretty sure you guys can see the flame right now, but just to be sure, I'm gonna cut off the lights for a second. And there you can obviously tell that it is cooking and it is ready for any type of food source or what not to be placed on top of it. All right, so now with the lights back on, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna time how long it's gonna take for this fire to actually boil four cups of water. So I'll set it on there now. There we go. And I'll just show you that it's actually still burning even though it's still burning even though it has a pot source on top of it, as you can tell. And we will come back when the water has started to boil. We're back now, and as you can tell, there's steam rising from the pot. This actually started about the 9 to 10 minute mark. Right now we're at the 14 minute mark pretty much. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna come to a complete boil like bubbling water, but it's definitely hot. So any type of freeze dry food you have, this water should be good enough to use for your cooking sources. And just remember guys, this is four cups, so pretty much 32 ounces of water, which is can be a difficult task to boil, but as I was saying before, this took about nine to 10 minutes and it was already starting to steam up. So I'll say about 10 minutes at the most it would take to heat up 32 ounces of water. So that's not bad. We can tell we're getting direct contact on the bottom of the pan there. And now once you've already boiled what you need it, set this to the side, put it in your freeze dry food whatever the case may be. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out. So be cautious of the flame, of course. You just pull this down. And then you're just gonna grab the canister. And if you notice, it tells you right there, heat indicator, this is hot. Be careful. Now you can still grab it if need be. It's not too hot on the side that you can't touch it. It's just letting you know, be cautious. So be careful when you do this. In order to put the flame out, you just need to take the cap upside down and place it on top to get rid of the oxygen and the flame dies out. You have to be extremely careful on this top here because this around here is hot. The sides, not so hot. As you can see, I can pick it up. It will start to heat up after a couple of seconds, but it's not that hot that you can't touch it. This part here, however, this is hot. Be careful. And in order to replace this bag, you need to wait probably about an hour or so for it to completely cool down. You flip the cap back over, you shut it back up, and then you'll have approximately another two hours left before this canister runs out. So remember, you'll get four and a half hours for $5. It would be a wise choice to stock up on these now while you can. So that was pretty much my review over the Sterno cooking fuel, the Sterno stove as well. I think this is a great buy altogether at like $11. And I'm able to cook food for at least four and a half hours. So pretty smart choice. Highly recommend you guys add this to your prep. As always, be prepared. And you know the deal. Rate, subscribe, comment. I'll see you guys soon. Later.